Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to reset your custom binary uh, number, your flash count on your Samsung Galaxy S3. This should work on basically any variant. I know it's AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, all the US variants there. Um, I believe it supports the international version as well. I believe the Canada version as well. But first, let me go ahead and let you know what I'm talking about so you guys aren't just doing this blindly. Basically, uh, when you actually unroot your device, when you flash that stock tar to get you back to complete stock, if you've rooted your phone, you have most likely um, have a count on your flash count. So basically, let's go ahead and get into download mode. Obviously, volume down, home button, and power button all at the same time. And then I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So press and hold that, then press volume up to continue. Once you get into download mode here, or Odin mode as some people call it, up at the top you will see right here, custom binary download. You will see yes and then a number, basically letting you know how many times that you've flashed either a custom kernel or something like that via Odin or a custom recovery. All that good stuff, that will trip that counter right there, so it will say yes. Uh, basically, um, carriers most likely won't look at that. Some might. Uh, it kind of depends on how knowledgeable the tech is at your specific carrier and uh, uh, basically repair center if you're trying to return your phone for a warranty reason. But if you're going to send it into Samsung, it's, they're most likely not going to take it because it says that custom binary download has counts. And now I'm going to do a video showing you how to reset it uh, to get completely back to stock. As I said, it's pretty hit or miss with carriers. Um, if you try and return your phone if you after you just flash the stock tar. So what I'll recommend doing is before, I mean you can do this and then probably after you do do this, then go ahead and uh, restore your stock tar afterwards. So go ahead and unroute your device after you reset this counter. So let's go ahead and show you how. So you can actually press and hold the home button to get out of download mode. Uh, that will just reset your device or you can obviously pull the battery, put it back in and power on, but I find it easier to just press and hold the power button, let go, and then it should reboot your device. So let your phone reboot. In the meantime, let's go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video and it will take you to this website. It's basically an XDA uh, site where it has information on this application. So it's called Triangle Away. Uh, which should reset your uh, binary download count along with remove the yellow triangle if your device has that. That's for Galaxy S2 devices actually. But let's go ahead and scroll down. You're going to want to read some of this because it lets you know basically what it's going to do. You will see right here support for Samsung Galaxy S3, all basically the US variants going on there. I'll let you know which ones are supported. Uh, you can download it from the Google Play Store, which I recommend doing. Go ahead and click on here and download it. Uh, I believe it's $2, so it'll be a $2 application for you. Or you can click on Triangle Away APK. It's actually the APK file itself. Uh, just transfer that APK file over to your device and install it manually. Otherwise, just get it from the Google Play Store. So you can choose uh, which way you, you want to do. I do recommend donating to Chainfire because he is awesome. So be sure to thank him for this application getting this going for us. But once you have it installed on your device, go ahead and go back to your phone. All right, and once we have the application installed, as you can see, Triangle Away right there, you can go ahead and hop into it, and we are going to need to allow it super user permissions. So again, you need to be rooted to do this, so before you go back to stock and unroot your device, you need to do this first. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Uh, granted super user permissions again. Um, you can follow him on Google Plus or Twitter, so do that as well. Um, and once opened up, we are ready to go. So basically, it's going to show you your current status of your flash counter. It lets you know how many, which it was five, as I showed you earlier, custom and SPHL 710. So it recognizes my device and basically lets me know that it uh, it knows that this is a Galaxy S3. And once you've double checked and make sure made sure that current status matched your device, go ahead and press reset flash counter. Uh, danger, this is a dangerous operation. Do this at your own risk. So make sure you do do this at your own risk. Go ahead and press continue. It should automatically reboot your device and basically reset that flash counter for you. So it says flash counter has been reset. Hit okay. And I thought it was gonna reboot, uh, maybe not. So it doesn't look like it's going to reboot our phone, but now what we can do is go ahead and power off, and we can go into our um, into download mode and double check and make sure that it says zero now. So let's check that out. 
All right, again, volume down, home button and power button, press and hold all of them. Volume up to continue, and takes us into download mode, and then up at the top, you will see custom binary download, it says no. And there you have it. So that's what you want it to say, no. Um, that would basically will remove any trace that you've ever rooted your device or installed anything custom on your device. So there you have it. Uh, it now says no, and you are ready to take it back to, to whatever manufacturer or carrier that you would like to. Again, as I said, it's probably hit or miss if you don't want to reset this. Um, if you don't feel like resetting it, taking it back to your carrier for a warranty reason, it's probably hit or miss depending on the certain tech that you give it to. But other than that, though, that is it. That's basically taking it completely back to stock. After you do this uh, method, then go ahead and uh, unroot your device, flash that stock tar. That's basically the only reason you're going to want to do this is basically to take it back for any warranty reason or anything. So you can then go ahead and run that stock tar and you are ready to go. So there you have it. That would be how to reset that custom binary count on your Samsung Galaxy S3 various versions as well. Uh, let me know what you think. Hopefully this worked for you. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.